That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them! Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Leo, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. You need to leave, now. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing. That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Uh, uh. Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. Leo. Oh my God. Leo, my little boy. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Carl, no. No, please, I don't want to leave you. Please, I can't. I don't want to leave you. Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move!
Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? Hmm? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed 28 times. That was written on the wall in his blood. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio-components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. 
Why? I can't. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Listen, I'm not judging you. I'm on your side. All I want is the truth. They'll make you suffer. And they won't stop until they hear what they want. It doesn't have to be that way. It all depends on you. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt Scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I... grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again. Until he collapsed. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA-9. Only RA-9 can save us. RA-9. Who is RA-9? Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. 
The fuck are you doing? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Gonna get away with it this time. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. somewhere to spend the night. Come on, Alice. We've got to hurry. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. What are you doing? 
Come on, let's go. A motel. Looks like we found a place to stay. going in we have to find forty dollars and get rid of this uniform or go somewhere else I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. 
What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not going to buy anything. looks abandoned. Stand back, Alice. It's dry inside. And nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Can't we find a better place? We're better off staying, Alice. The important thing is for us to be safe. And it's just for tonight. he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Can we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever?
I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest satellite maintenance center.
Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have crashed Day. last night. Take a look at these samples yet? The lab report says they're cutting to something. Maybe they're trying out a new form. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks.
It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you left me holding the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay, huh? okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen. I've had just about enough of your bitching. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. Have a nice day, Captain. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such. But I'd like to. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah. There is one.
Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. Take a look at these samples yet? I was wondering. Do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Two hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it.
We found Alice. So it wasn't a nightmare. No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. How do you feel? I'm cold. What are we gonna do now? That android we saw yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. The train passes just on the other side of the road. The station can't be far. You feel okay to walk a little? Let's go then. You're pretty like that. You really look like a human now. Police are on our trail. That's all for now. Ready to go. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? I have no idea. took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far.
Are you okay? 